Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today it's me and Dan the man and we are here today to talk about I guess you would say primarily even though I had an experience with them as well because I worked with them on their laser hair treatments mm -hmm. but we are primarily here to talk about Dan's wow. surgery that he had a little over a year ago what, what, what is it called it's not called like a hair replacement procedure it's hair restoration restoration there's the word and today we're here to take you along from the pro like in the process from beginning to end because now he is at what they would consider like the end of the healing mm -hmm. right and like the full results just yeah about uh, a year or a couple months after a year is where you'll see all the results yeah mm -hmm. and so when i had posted on instagram every time we were in there it's a place called pai here in nashville which is awesome we're going to talk about that people would always be like you have to tell us about it and i was like i can't we gotta wait I've never done a video this long before, like over the course of like 15 yeah. months, but we knew we were going to document it. So the gist, and Dan's going to talk a lot about what he thinks, but the gist of us doing this, um, you know, Dan and I have talked about this a lot. I mean, I've known him since he was 19, basically 1920. Um, and his, hair loss up here is kind of the only physical attribute I've ever actually seen Dan be a little bit uncomfortable with. And we would talk about people that would get these procedures and he was like, that'd be really cool to do that one day. And so we basically had the opportunity to work with PAI because of our platform and share this process with you. Why don't you tell them kind of like what this procedure is? because it's different than I think people, when they think of hair, like they think of hair plugs or something. Right. So maybe well, explain that and then if you were nervous and all of that. You can go to PAI. By the way, if you live in Nashville, you've definitely seen the signs uh, off of the freeway. You can essentially go there and they could uh, slice off a strip on the back of your head and uh, staple your head back together which you have to have enough loose skin back there so that it'll stretch and close back up or you can do it uh, the easier way and, and have no scar and what they do and this is what i did they shave the back of your head and uh they numb you up they numb you up pretty good they'll lie you down uh head down and they give you a something in your arm and uh you're very drowsy the time I, i'm not even sure how long it takes but i mean it's it, it's kind of an all-day thing it it is an all-day thing but it goes by quick because you're on drugs yeah <laughs> but what it does this robot can zoom in on the back of your head it sees the direction of which the hair is growing out and it can also see how many hairs are coming out of the follicle so you can either have one or up to four hairs per, per follicle. And so it grabs those and then it spaces it out so that it doesn't thin out your hair in one spot. It's got like an algorithm that it, mm -hmm. it works on to keep it all looking thick. And it goes pretty quick because it's when it's diving in and grabbing a hair, the machine has already found the next spot. That's so. crazy. By the way, the procedure is called the artist. Like that's the name of mm -hmm. the machine. So once you're done with that, maybe it's a couple hours, but like I said, you're on drugs and, and you like don't it's easy. really notice the time. Right. You get off the chair, you have your lunch break, and then they give you a double dose of what they gave you before, and you go to sleep. They manually put the hairs wherever you want them to go. I put mine in the front. Uh, I would assume people that are patching up their thinning crown will have a much easier time with the recoup because yeah because that's the thing so male pattern baldness is pretty much here and then here so they tend to keep their hair that's all around here so that is where they take the hair from like the permanent hairs and then they move them there or there mm -hmm. and supposedly those hairs are permanent once they place them there right i think you have to keep using like a Rogaine or something though, right? We'll get to that. Okay, okay. But, uh, but yes. Yeah, so the robot takes the hairs out, 
but they put the hairs in manually manually because they feel like still at this point there's kind of an artistry to that no pun intended because well, the there is called no artists. there's no other procedure to, to put them back in yes well they they what's his name told me that potent in theory the robot could do it but they feel like by them doing it, it's like, oh, it's more okay. of like the human touch of picking exactly where the hairs should go. Right, and, and, and you go over you that, that with the doctor before, and you draw the line with a marker on your head, and you know, you get to decide what's happening. The recoup was interesting because when I took the, the headdress off, all the swelling that was here ended up draining down my face, so my eyebrows were swollen over my eyes my eyelids filled up and that was about a day or two of just looking real he looked rough yeah. he said it didn't feel rough but he not looked rough actually my head was probably numb for like a month and a half Crazy. afterwards so i'll say it again literally if i didn't say it before no pain and that was my experience so I can't speak for everybody, but I felt nothing. So that's what I meant before by if you're patching up the crown, mm. your recovery might be a little easier because you're going into this procedure to fix your hair, but they really jack you up for <laughs> a long time. Like the hair on the back of your head is gone. So because they have to shave you it off. Much, you pretty much got to start all over. Um, I wore a hat uh, for for a while. Um, you're not supposed to put anything on the the area. You don't want hat pressure. pressure or whatever. But I have many hats, and so I wore a bigger one that I have didn't many bother. Hats. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Overall, I really enjoyed my experience there and uh, I'm pleased with the results. Uh, one of the things you you sign uh, before you do this is or, or your consultation is um, you're acknowledging that the results might not meet your expectations. Some people might want to go in for a second round uh, for whatever reason. The difference is crazy. Let me just chime in. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how much farther forward his hairline is now. But I know based on our previous conversation, if you just like could do anything, you know, make your dreams come true, that's corny. You would bring it even a little farther forward just based no, on our I conversations. Don't, I don't think I would bring it farther forward, but I'd probably want to- uh, Thicken it up a little? Thicken it up a little bit. Because uh, I, I tied into my existing hairline and then the the areas here were completely bald. So it was filling up a completely bald area. Dude, they did a good job. And, uh, yeah. So well, why don't we show the people? Yeah, show the people what's happening. Uh, I mean, it's crazy how different it is now. Oh no, you're running out of battery. That's okay, it'll but, last um, another couple minutes. Yeah, uh, if we could show a before picture. It's a big difference. Part of the homework that you have is using Rogaine because r what Rogaine does is help you keep what you've got. And uh, if you have hair loss or you're constantly losing your hair or it's thinning out, Rogaine will, will stop that. Um, they showed us in the office of, of the stages of hair loss. You got your thick hair and then as the blood vessel becomes thinner from a hormone DHT. Yeah, so Rogaine blocks that DHT hormone. I think what that's the what it is. Yeah, what the hormone does is is restricts the blood flow to the follicle. So the follicle it uh, drops further and further away from the surface and your hair becomes thinner and thinner and then it becomes translucent. And then once it becomes thin enough, then the hair is gone. Rogaine and other companies that make products with the active ingredient minoxidil cannot claim this but it can help you grow more hair on your face um, the process i just explained from what i understand works in the opposite order on the hairs on your face so men have hair follicles in their face and so rogaine will help wake them up 
if they're if they're not growing any hair and so I've watched my hair as I've kept it short on my face I've, I you know I can keep track of what's there and what isn't and I've been able to see over months of applying it to my face that I could see thin hairs turn into darker hairs and then turning into thick whiskers crazy um, this whole experience has been kind of fun uh, science experiment right like moving the hair on my head and then uh, I've never done it before and letting it grow out of my face so hairy like animals yeah <laughs> it's, it's uh it's been fun well and in the process his healing process and also for me because I prior to us trying to get pregnant had been using Rogaine for about a year and had seen good results mm -hmm. Um, but we also worked with them. They have an in-office laser hair treatment. And so he went while he was optional, recovering. But, yes. Yeah. And I went in just as part of to stimulate the growth more. And I saw really great results too. And obviously the way that his hair has grown in and thickened, um, it just, it was just all a really great experience. The office <clears throat> staff is really friendly and knowledgeable and helpful and professional and everything is so clean and nice and they did such a great job on his hair and like i said i felt like the laser hair treatments on my hair in combination with the rogaine it also helped to thicken everything up in the front um right, and it was just the great. laser it helps stimulate the hair follicle and will bring those uh those thinner hairs back you know to the fuller thicker hairs yeah mm -hmm. So yeah, we would highly recommend them. PAI yeah. here in Nashville, great experience. And I think that's pretty much it, unless you have anything else you'd like to say. Yeah, but this is fun. This has been fun. And um, I'm, I'm glad to have some hair back. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. We had talked about that for mm -hmm. years. And like you said, that's not, or we were saying, I was saying, that's not really like, you're not like out getting beauty treatments or treatments ever, you know? Um, but this was a fun one to see like, yeah, you got some of your hair back. Mm -hmm. Like it was something you lost and it was fun and to it, see it come it's back. It's also weird. Uh, it's one of those things where you're living with yourself. You're seeing yourself in the mirror on the, da on the daily and you, you don't, it's like as a person is losing weight or gaining weight and someone else sees them and it's like, they, they're the ones that notice not yourself. And so it was fun to like go and take a shower with her and <laughs> she's the one seeing my hair and she would make comments all the time. I was like, like dude, because you know, he slicks his yeah. hair back while he's washing. You look like a completely different person. I was like, oh my gosh, like the hairline is so different now. It's crazy. So yeah, they did a great job. I'm, I mean, and like I said, we've known each other for so long now, 13, 14 years, talking about it for a long time. And it's like, he finally mm -hmm. did it. So it's crazy yeah, to I'm see Yeah, I'm very it. glad I did it. And it's something I get to keep forever, so. Yeah. So PA, that was a, such a weak high five, not on your part, but like we landed it weird. <laughs> so that is it, guys. Um, if you made it this far, by the way, check the info box because just like every other video, I do giveaways to say thank you to you guys for supporting my videos. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you do end up checking PAI out here in Nashville, be sure to tell them, or if you get any kind of artist treatment, because they're, they're available different places throughout the US, feel free to shout us out and tell them that you found out about them through us. And also feel free to ask any questions that you might have either down in the comments. We'll keep an eye on that so that if Dan, you know, sure. He can hop in and see. And it's getting really bright now suddenly. So we're gonna go. Um, ooh, that lighting actually looks pretty good. <laughs> All right. We will hopefully see you back here soon with another new video. And that is it. All right. See ya. Bye, guys.